guys welcome to another after effects tutorial today i'll bring you this present a little present and also a tutorial i'm gonna show you how to create uh, animated buttons to show your audience to subscribe your channel or uh, activate the notification bell you can download this pack in mastereffects.com completely free but uh, i will show you how to create this animation in case you want to create your own. I let you the resources down here in the description and let's get started. Well, let's start by creating a new composition by the name uh, button one. Use the resolution and the frames by second, uh, any, any you want and click OK. In this case, let's um, create the final part of, of the graphic. Click on the text layer and uh, click on any place and write, in this case, subscribe. And now this text, uh, you need to center to the composition. Click on the align panel and center with these buttons. However, our anchor point is on the bottom of the layer. So click on the Y uh, keyboard and uh, with a control selected, drag to the center. Now, once again, align it to the center of the composition in the panel align. Now, in the uh, shape layer uh, tool, click on the rectangle and drag to, the, uh, to create a button. Now, you can uh, create something a little different. So uh, click on the disable stroke and in the fill, change it to uh, maybe red. Now, drag it to the back and also align it to, to the center of the composition. Okay. And now pre-compose this composition select both layers and click Control shift c and now rename it as a subscribe button now duplicate this layer this composition with Control t and now uh, rename this composition like a button subscribe button now at some point we are going to change the first button to the second one so in the second one change the text double click on the text and write subscribed and for the button uh, let's modify the scale not with the scale uh, tool but the shape size tool go to the rectangle pad and click on the size disable the proportional scale and decrease the, the size in X. Now, in the shape layer with the pen tool selected, change the color. Go to maybe a gray color and uh, go back to the main comp. Okay, now we need to create a bell. And in the assets that you can download in the description, here is the the both icons which are uh, downloaded in um, flat icon you can go and, and check all the icons there but import the, the bell and, and drag it to the composition and in this case you need to pre-compose this uh, bell Control shift c and rename it Keep all the layers in the uh, same layer, all the attributes, and enter the composition. Click on the uh, transparency button, and we need to deactivate these lines. So click on the pen tool and make a mask uh, that only covers the the the, um, the lines. Okay. And now you need to duplicate this layer with Ctrl D. In the bottom one, click on M and click on Inverted. 
En For the, the Top One Drag the Composition So if you notice It appears Ok Now for the bell We need to change the color directly in the main comp So we need to go to Effect Generate And Fill Click for the color In this case I want a white color and scale it for the final um, um, size drag to the final position in this case I think there is okay in some point up the, the lines is uh, visible so now we need to import our pointer drag the the quick.png and uh, pre-compose it rename it leave all the attributes and in this case activate the transparency the, the pointer is transparent so we need to make a background you can uh, create a shape layer with the pen tool and try to draw it in a general way you don't need to be perfect something like this drag it to the back and change the color to white okay now the, the cursor is now the pointer is okay now drag it to the top and let's animate like this click on the trans transparency and scale the curse the pointer scale it and set it to the final position so let's create a keyframe maybe like in one second click p and s and create both keyframes now click on the letter u to make both uh, keyframes visible and drag the, the pointer down so if you can see the pointer is now animated but it's kind of boring so we need to select all the, uh, both keyframes and go to the graph editor and with this button or f9 make both lay, uh, both keyframes is and if you don't see this you can go to the speed editor and drag the first point so the animation starts slow and increase the speed now in this in this point uh, is clicking the button so we are going to represent with the scale okay click on a uh, scale and, and go forward five frames decrease the size maybe 19 and now go forward five frames and again the same uh, size 22 and also we need to create the same animation the same scale but we in the button so click on s create three keyframes one in the middle and one on the uh, last on the last point and in the center maybe decrease it maybe 90 and now duplicate this layer with the um, with alt with alt hold drag the other button the subscribed button and now drag the the beginning of the layer and the end of the layer also so if you can see the the button is now animated okay so we have this animation and it looks good now in the pointer we need to create a new uh, keyframe on the position without making any changes and uh, go to the next frames and drag the the pointer and go to the edit graph editor and also change the curves to make the animation more dynamic go back and select these keyframes 
clic control C and control B let's make a keyframe on the scale click on a keyframe on the middle and change the size and go to the last keyframe and go back to the same size now we need to change the color of the veil so go to the fill effect in the color click on the keyframe move forward one frame with page down and now change the color with the drop and uh, select the gray color this way if you can see the color is also animated once you have this let's create a new keyframe in the position of the pointer and move forward some frames and take the, the pointer any anywhere you want so it can leave the screen go to the graph editor and uh, drag the curves in any way that you want to make the animation more dynamic something like this exactly if you can see the lines of the bell it shows before so in the moment of the click double click on the composition and just drag the lines layer if you can uh, go back click on the transparency disable it and let's see let's, uh, let's click and click and leaves okay now the bell is appear on the moment of the click of the button so let's hide this uh, this bell and in this case let's create a keyframe on the position and in the scale without moving any any value go to the back of the button and uh, hide the bell also make it a little bit smaller click on the u and drag the two keyframes and also select it and go to the graph editor click on is is and now drag the drag the curves to make this animation better now let's hide the button let's create in the in the subscribed in the subscribe button let's create a position keyframe drag this position keyframe that that is the final position and drag the button down once again go to the graph editor is is and create this animation but in this case i want it to bounce so in this case instead of, of utilize the speed graph you need to go to the um, um, value graph so we need to separate the dimensions click on the separate dimensions and now you can control both uh, both values so we need to create a slow start and drag the value up so it can go back and create this bounce okay be careful with this curve and uh, it's gonna be good and now we're gonna create a mask go to the shape form and without selecting anything create a mask just in the border of the button drag this layer just just above this layer and now we need to uh, toggle switches and modes with this button and select alpha matted shape layer so 
This way the button is hiding in the in the alpha of the shape layer. Now for the bell, just drag the beginning of the layer for the time that starts moving. Let's see. It looks good, right? Well guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, remember that you can follow me on any of my social media. Uh, you can find me as MasterFX with double S. Here's a video that you need to see, the button to subscribe, the channel, remember to activate the notification bell. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you on the next video. Bye.